Hey guys, what's up? This is Anthony again, and I want to show you the second of the Weaponizer Transformers Prime figures. This is Optimus Prime. So far, we've only got Bumblebee and Prime. Uh, I already did the review for Bumblebee, so check that out if you didn't see it. Absolutely great figure. Optimus Prime, not quite as good, but still pretty darn good. Let's start off with the height. He stands at just under 9 inches tall to the top of the head and to the top of the smokestacks, 9.5. So pretty good size. It's a new class according to the package. It's the Weaponizer class, but it's, it's just shy of a leader class, really. It's a little more basic of a figure but um, it's still really darn good. As you can see, there's a decent amount of paint on this figure, lots of different molded colors, and it has a nice overall look to it. Definitely has a little bit more red than the Voyager class does, so that's a nice thing. Of course, we're going to be getting the Voyager class in the first edition color scheme soon, supposedly, but this is a great piece to tie you over if you wanted a more screen accurate Optimus Prime. Now, like I said, he's not perfect. He's a little chunky in the top area. It doesn't look quite right. His backpack is kind of gigantic. It's the whole front end of the truck, really, plus the top of the cab all pushed into one area on his back. So he's a little bit back heavy and he's got a huge backpack, but otherwise he's pretty good. His legs are kind of hollow too, so that's another negative. The rest is all pretty good. As far as articulation goes, his head is on a ball joint, so he can look up, not really down too much, and he can swivel not a whole lot. That's about all you're going to get out of the swivel, effectively. It's due to the sculpt. Could have opened that up a little bit more, but they didn't. The shoulders have a hinge like that, and of course they rotate separately. The shoulder pads articulate individually so they won't get in the way of the articulation for the shoulder. There's a bicep swivel right there, single jointed hinge at the elbow, just more a little bit over 90 degrees, so that's a nice range of motion. And hands, the hands have a swivel in them, so he's got a little bit of hand articulation, which is nice. He comes with a blaster, which is molded, molded in this light plastic with no paint at all, so it's kind of an ugly accessory, but it's sculpted well enough and he can hold it well with his molded hands, so that's a nice touch. He has no trouble holding it at all. It's a little reminiscent of the G1 blaster in my opinion, so I think that's nice as well. No waist articulation. The hips are on standard hip joints, so they swing forward and back and they're ratcheted from side to side. There's a thigh swivel just above the knee joint. The knee is ratcheted, and it goes as far as you can make it go, so that's good. There is no foot articulation again, though. We have a little bit out of the toe. That's it. It goes up only that far. It folds down, but you can't use that for anything, so it doesn't do any good. So really, no foot articulation. And if you look, the feet are angled. So, of course, he can stand with his feet close because they're gigantic feet, and it works. So that's not really a problem, per se. He can stand. You have to balance him a little bit because he's back heavy. Otherwise, he leans back on his heels. But he can stand close up if you want. But he stands much better with his feet spread just a little bit because it's a nice flat base. Either way, it's not terrible. And you can still get him in some decent poses as long as you take the time to balance him out. So, like I said, it's not bad. As you can see, it's somewhat of a dynamic pose. Of course, you could do a little bit better with a little more time, but despite the lack of foot articulation, you still get pretty decent posing out of him. So that's okay by me. That covers the articulation. We got the size. Like I said, he's got a decent amount of paint throughout. Really no complaints in that department other than the weapon. The next thing I want to look at is the weaponizer the weapons that pop out of his body. Bumblebees were really good. Optimus is not quite so much. This is the thing that locks the weapons in place. Zoom out a little bit so you can see what's going on. So this locks them in place. This here is the trigger that makes them pop out. Now, I'll show you one problem right off the bat probably. We'll see if it works. Okay, this time they came down. Luckily, a lot of the time they don't fold down all the way. If you'll notice, there's no mechanism, they're just loose. No, nothing brings them forward other than gravity, so if they don't come out fast enough or if you're not at an angle, they're just going to stick straight up. When they do come down, they look kind of cool. They do block his head though a little bit, 
and these pieces up here they don't go anywhere so it's really kind of ugly to have him in weaponizer mode it's okay from the front as long as you kind of ignore these things and the guns look okay but they're not nearly as cool as bumblebees i don't think and it just kind of detracts from the figure so it's not really necessarily a good thing if these were gone and maybe these were out farther to the side I'd like it a little bit better, but I think for Optimus, I'll probably just leave his in his back. Now, the mechanism is cool, the way they come out of the back like that and swing forward. It just didn't really get brought to life effectively, I don't think. So it's not necessarily a great feature. It's not bad, but it's not good. So I'm going to give Optimus only an 8 out of 10. Um, there are definitely a couple issues with the big backpack the uh, hollow legs and the difficulty to get him st to stand is enough and then the poor weaponizer functions just not quite on par with bumblebee i don't think so he only gets an eight out of ten but still as you can see it's a very solid robot mode for optimus pretty screen accurate and if you can overlook those few features it's definitely a good figure so it's definitely still a recommended figure that's the robot mode, let's talk about the vehicle mode and then uh, we'll call it a day. So I have Optimus transformed into vehicle mode and I can't say it's any better than the robot mode unfortunately. Whereas Bumblebee had a great robot mode and a decent vehicle mode, Optimus just kind of has a decent robot mode and a decent vehicle mode, if that. It rolls okay, that's not really a problem. It looks alright from the front. The truck has pretty good paintwork, pretty nice detailing, not too much of a problem there. From the side, it's okay, it still looks a little bit toyish, as some people said about the Voyager class. Now here's the real big problem, you can see his hands, you can see his feet, they're just folded in a little bit, his legs are still hollow, and the back part of the truck is really ugly and just, it looks like parts of a robot just shoved into the back of the truck. It doesn't look so great at all. The gun does peg into one of four holes. There's one there and one there. And then there's two more on this side. The wheels are not painted. They look pretty cheap all the way around. And the weaponizing function isn't good. It's not good at all. It doesn't even work unless you manually detach the front grill of the truck. It doesn't do it on its own. So you have to pop that down. And then you can press this button down here oh no there's a button up here i'm sorry you can press the button up here and the guns come out they point forward unlike bumblebees but it looks terrible the truck is hollow you can't see the guns from the side because of these pieces you can only see them from the top which still looks silly or from the front but overall it just isn't effective it's not effective at all and you have to reach underneath to reset them which isn't too big a deal, but still. And then you still have a hole in the trunk, or in the truck, you have to fold up on your own. So it's just really, really cumbersome and poorly thought out, I think. I would leave them like that. So really in vehicle mode and in robot mode, using the weaponizing function is just probably not a good idea. So unfortunately, I'm gonna give the vehicle mode like a six and a half out of 10. It's just pretty disappointing overall. The robot mode was decent, but still somewhat disappointing. So definitely out of the two weaponizers, Optimus is not the one to get if you're only getting one, get Bumblebee. I'm not going to say I don't recommend him because it's still a decent robot mode for Optimus, but it's not going to be particularly impressive. Beyond that, the decision is up to you. It's probably worth the price tag, but again, it's not going to be impressive. So there it is, guys. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for some more videos and some more reviews and some other good stuff. And in the meantime, keep collecting.